What are HTTP status codes? Whenever you visit a website, your browser sends a bunch of requests to the web server hosting the website, asking it to find all the resources needed to show you the page. That means all the text you see, the nice images and videos on the page, and all the scripts and code hidden behind the scenes of a website. These are all delivered to you through a series of requests from your browser, which is called the client, to the website server. And instead of blindly guessing what happened and if everything got delivered to you as requested, the server is nice enough to tell you how it handled each of your requests. It does so by serving HTTP status codes as a response to each of your requests. That's why they're also known as response status codes. These status codes are three-digit responses from the server to your browser. And to make it simpler for you to understand, each status code is put into one of five categories. Let's go through them one by one. 100s. All responses starting with a 1 are informational responses. These act as a temporary status code and are a way for the server to tell you that the request was received and that it's being processed. Once the request has been processed, the server will respond with a new status code from one of the other categories. There are a total of four status codes in the 100s. 200s. All responses starting with a 2 are successful responses. 200s are the heroes of status codes and they should put a smile on your face. 200 is the most beautiful number in the world of status codes because it means everything is okay and the server responded the way you expected it to. There are 10 different status codes in the 200s. 300s. All responses starting with a three are redirection responses. So what you requested was found by the server, it just wasn't found exactly where you expected it to be. This can be due to many different reasons, but luckily the server knew where to find the resource, even though it wasn't the place you requested it to be. A common example of this is a URL that has changed, but the server knew where to find the new place for this URL. There are a total of nine status codes in the 300s. 400s. All responses starting with a 4 are client error responses. If 200s are the heroes of status codes, then 400s are the villains. Whenever you see a 400 response, it means that the server couldn't handle the request that was sent from the browser. The most common out of these is the dreaded 404 not found, which is a nice way of telling you that your request was wrong because the server didn't find anything. There are a total of 29 status codes in the 400s. And as you can see, that's a lot more than in some of the other categories, but that's a good thing because it helps you troubleshoot if you encounter these errors. 500s. All responses starting with a 5 are server error responses. Similarly to the 400s, something went wrong, but this time when it's a 500 response, it's no longer your fault, but it's the server's fault that something went wrong. The reasons can be many, but they all tell you that you need to look at the server. One of the common reasons is that the server might be down or overloaded and simply didn't have the resources to handle your request. And it's important to note that the 500 response doesn't tell you whether the request was good or bad. It just tells you that the server never got that far. So if you encounter this issue, the first thing you need to do is fix the server so it can respond in a proper way. And then you can troubleshoot it further what the actual response of your request would be. There are a total of 11 status codes in the 500s. 100s. How do you see the HTTP status code that a server responded for a website request? The simplest way to see all the responses from the server is by opening up the developer tools in your browser and navigating to the network tab. Once that's open, it will show you every single request that you sent to the server and the response that the server gave. You can even sort them by status code so you can see if any of them returned any unexpected errors.